the law enforcement agencies up to now have overall, I think, have done the best they can with what they have mm -hmm. uh, and with the knowledge they have. Uh, the, when you think about uh, in the last 10 years, the number of uh, actual plots that were, uh, that were uh, uh, being considered by terrorists like the group of 18 in Toronto, mm -hmm. to use that as an example, he used the, uh, the individual who was uh, plotting to blow up the subway, who is now ju has just been charged. So there's been a number of arrests made in that case, but overall when you start looking at the number of terrorists that have, uh, of, uh, that have uh, now become, it's been disclosed being involved, who have at least affiliations. When you take a look at the fact that you, we have, uh, for an example, we have right now disclosed uh, what we know of, 145 Canadians uh, participating in one manner or another in the Middle, in the Middle East. Uh, we have another 93 who have, uh, have come back and have, we know apparently that they have been involved in one manner or another with terrorist activities. And we have another 80 uh, am I getting that mixed up? No, it's the other way, I, around. Other way around. I'm sorry. We have 80 that are, are have come back, uh, and then, uh, and what are they doing? We don't know. And then and 93 uh, that are, would like to leave, and yet we have uh, the, that once again now it brings in the question. We have laws on the books it says that, that if you're involved in certain matters, it's clear under Section 83. Uh, then why are we not at least charging a number of these individuals who obviously have, uh, have an agenda, and it's a very, very, very uh, serious uh, agenda.